Recorded live at PRS View Studios in San Diego, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. We're here with Dr. Roy Kim, who is in private practice in San Francisco, and today we're going to talk about submandibular glands. So, Dr. Kim, can you tell me why submandibular glands are important in a face and a neck lift? Some mandibular glands all exist in everybody. However, as we age, in some patients, they can droop or get a little lower, accentuating the jowl. Okay. And so how do we treat it now, and what does this paper provide that's new from how we treat it currently? So right now, if you just get a neck lift, they're still there. So some people actually recommend removing them. So the problem is that it's a surgical exposure, it's surgical excision. There are major blood vessels there, so sometimes it's hard to control the bleeding. There is a newer way where you can inject neurotoxin, neuromodulator, to actually inject it directly into the gland, and it actually goes away after one to two injections on a permanent basis. Oh, that's really interesting. Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. <laughs>